Hello, Salt Strong Nation. Joe Simons, like diamonds. We are back again. Got Nick, got Luke, and we're talking about this all in one app. It's almost ready. I'm talking about like 48 hours or so away from when you're seeing this. If you're seeing this early, you might already, it already might be in your hands by the time you uh, actually watch this. But I've had a lot of questions come in about this app. It's gotten a ton of excitement. It's got a ton of questions and hey, is this going to work on my phone? And so we're going to cover all of that and go through a couple of things that we've added since the last time. So the whole goal with this to reiterate, if you missed the last two, was to take every app out there that a fisherman would use, especially inshore saltwater anglers, take everything from the weather, from the wind, from the radar, from the sonar, from, you know, any kind of specialty tracking uh, we literally looked at everything that we heard anglers were using on a day-to-day -day basis to, to become better anglers and to catch fish, obviously tides and the other stuff that, that we always use when we fish. We said, hey, why, why can't we just bring it all in one? And, uh, and, and here we are now. It's, this has been a long, long, long work in the process. And it's going to have a couple of different stages as well, which we'll talk about in a bit. So right here, uh, hopefully, if you're watching this, if you're not just visualize that Nick has got really Texas to the, I don't know, North Carolina or so pulled up. This does work everywhere. That's a question we get, right? Hey, is this going to work in my area? Is it going to work up in uh, uh, New Hampshire? Yes, absolutely. Uh, it's really tailored for intra saltwater fishing, though. So I, I want to throw that out there. It will work in California. Some of this high res stuff can work anywhere that we can get it. Uh, but it, it really is going to be the most beneficial for inshore and offshore anglers because of this uh, underwater footage or this underwater view is what I like to call it. Uh, but Texas to Virginia, that's where it's going to be absolutely like holy smokes. This is could be what I, I would call game changing. So uh, Nick, I'm going to hand it over to uh, to you after that intro and then we'll talk about the kind of the other big questions we get about turning this into an app. How do you get it? Uh, how do you become a beta tester, et cetera? So, Nicholas, it is all yours. Uh, yeah. So basically, um, we've got we've added some more features. I think since last podcast, so maybe we can just kind of go through there. So, when you first pull up, and and just note that the experience is going to be the same on mobile versus desktop. So you're very familiar with it if you're if you're doing your pre trip planning on desktop, and then you switch over to your mobile. Everything's kind of the same. Uh, general area. So at the top, uh, on the desktop, you're gonna have a 14 day uh, forecast that'll give you um, just kind of a general view of uh, what the winds will be, what the gusts will be, the wind direction, the percentage of rain, the high and low for um, the temperature. And then when you're on mobile, it'll just show you a couple of days, but you can swipe through the same 14 days just because it's it's more compact. I'll show it real uh, quick. So if you guys are watching, I've got Lily Nick's same setup here and you'll see at the very top i got all the all the weather and all i have to do is just swipe over oh, get an alert there and then uh, it swings by so pretty cool and, and it also has hourly too so if you click on any day or tap on a day on your phone this this to me has been really really nice because my other apps that i've used it takes a long time to load the hourly it takes a, a lot of clicks to get to this hourly forecast and, and as nick is showing here it shows the, the wind speed during any given hour, as well as the gust. So it talks about the average speed and then it shows if it's gonna be gusty or not and the wind direction, of course, even the barometric pressure, which most others don't show. So to me, like this has been just incredible. Just from beta testing, this has certainly made my, uh, my life easier when I'm in the need of looking for, for, weather, for weather details. Yeah, and one thing to note when you're looking at the hourly forecast, uh, we color coded or color graded the 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 actual wind value. So if it's light wind, it's going to be green, and if it's kind of a kind of a medium wind, it's you know it's going to be uh, yellow, and then a high wind, it's going to actually be red. So it gives you uh, a real quick glance at the day. You can just scan through. You can see right here it's green, and then and then at one a.m. it looks like it's uh, it's a little bit windier than it should be. Um, so it's just a quick way to. Um, to kind of scan through and see what the day is going to look like. If you've got red in the, in the middle of the day when you're fishing, you know it's going to be a windy day. 
Um, the other thing is uh, the way you target the uh, the forecast is as you move your map around, there's a little uh, crosshair right in the middle. So you can put that, let me just zoom in here a little bit. So let's go into, uh, let's say like Jacksonville area. So I can put that crosshair right where I want and you'll see at the top, it's going to update the forecast for that particular position. And then you can drill down into the hourly day and kind of scan through. Now we've also included the, the actual sunrise and you can see the weather around the sunrise because usually they just show you the sunrise and the sunset, but it's it, you have to think through, okay, what's the weather gonna be like around that, that early morning hour? So now you can see exactly the wind, the wind direction and the sunrise. And then later on this particular day, um, we've got the, the moon set. So we're also showing the moon uh, set and rise uh, as you scan through here. And then at the top right, we've got the, uh, the moon phase and, um, and eventually, uh, we're not done with this yet, but instead of closing and going to the next day, we're just gonna put arrows so you can just page through to the next day so you can kind of flip through the week and see uh, what things are looking like. That's gonna be awesome. And the reason we did this and put a big emphasis on giving you everything you need with weather is because that's the one thing that we all look at every day, right? And, and we heard that from a lot of you. So, well, hey, you know, I don't, I don't fish every single day. Sometimes it's once a month if, uh, if I'm having a, a tough month or maybe it's once a quarter if you're really having a tough year. But I'm always looking at the weather. And so that was why we have this always at the top, always at your finger, fingertips. And we'll, tides will be another one uh, that it'll look probably a little bit different. But Nick can go there and it will pull up every single tide chart. And, uh, and then boom, you can hit that. And that'll show the smart fishing uh, tides kind of system. There you go. Uh, if you're listening, Nick is basically, oh, wow, look at that. Just boom, boom, boom. That is so cool. I love the pop-up. Yeah, so basically I just loaded in all the tide stations for this area. And then from here, it shows you where, uh, the, like the time right now and the, and the tide graph where we are. And then you can page through the next day. And it still has the hourly weather. And then it has uh, pressure trends and, and temperature trends. Um, and there's more uh, details that we're going to be loading into there. Um, that's uh, what else. Oh, so like once you actually get into pre-planning, so we made a way that the forecast, you can actually zip it up and get it out of the way. That way you can start pulling in um, some of your other layers. Now this is the shaded relief layer. Uh, and there's still a transparency here. So you can kind of back out a little bit and get a, a combination of both. Let me go in here. So you can get the, the satellite view. And then also this is what uh, we call the shaded relief. And then we also have the sonar view. So now the sonar view is going to give you more of the, the, the line gradients that, that show the contours and the depth. And uh, you can still kind of do a transparency on that to get a couple of different views. Uh, and then we have your, uh, your high res, which is going to give you um, a lot more detail on some of these areas. Oh, like and, that's uh, so cool. And by the way, this is the St. John's River, right? And I know that kept question came up a couple of times, like there's no way you're going to get this stuff in the St. John's River. And, uh, and we do. And it's pretty amazing what you're going to see down there. Yeah, in fact, I was kind of looking through this earlier. There's some, uh, let me back up here. There's some nice areas like way in here, which that's, that's pretty deep. And you can see some yeah. good detail all through there. And this is way back in the river. I'm not familiar with this area, what these uh, bridges might be. This is so do you have, do you have marine chart? Do you have the sonar where we can see the depth? Yeah. So not in this area yet. So that's the tiles are still loading. Um, so it. they're going to, they're going to be there probably by the end of next week. So, okay. uh, but yeah, this is by, I don't know what bridge that is, but you can scan back here. And, but see, even, even with uh, the transparency like that, you can see the sonar lines and the high def at the same time. Yeah, and this high def, just for those who are listening, so cool. this is basically underwater detailed footage of the bottom. And, and so you can actually see, like, we've actually found some boats, like sunken boats on the bottom. Yeah, and just rock clusters. It is shocking how, how really, how detailed it is. Yeah, there's a boat right there. There's yeah. a, a wreck right off of that jetty. Uh, somebody probably knows what that is. Um, yeah, so then the other thing we added was a search. So you can search and go straight to another location instead of panning. Um, and uh, you just type it in and then, and then select the city. Um, but some going back to the high res stuff, um, I wanted to show, let me uh, change this back here. Uh, it was actually kind of offshore because that's 
what I enjoy doing. And I saw some really interesting structure here right oh. off of the beach here, right offshore. Some wrecks so like, or something or giant rock clusters. Yeah, I don't know if these, I, this one looks like a wreck because it's clearly looks like some type of container ship or something. Um, but then like some really good looking ledges and stuff. Too. No doubt. Yeah, and, and it goes, uh, let's see. Dang. This is a big area, so like this. This looks like a big peak, big mountain. Like once I get the uh, ENC loaded in there, you'll be able to see the exact depths for all this area. And you can still drop a pin on here too, right? To see the exact GPS. Yeah, exactly. So like I can drop this pin and it shows me the wind speed and the longitude and latitude for that spot. So then I could back up, like if I'm planning my trip and uh, I can go into my weather here. And uh, here, let me actually let me do this. Uh, back this down a little bit. So now you can see, you can actually see the wind. That spot didn't move. I dropped that pin right there. That spot didn't move. So I can see the wind direction and um, I can change it to waves. So now I've got five foot waves and it tells me the direction out of the east. I can see the swell, uh, the current, which is really cool. It shows me almost one knot. Um, That's really cool. Yeah, so it's, it's, and then I can zoom right back into that spot and uh, let me put my layer back up and go right back. This, like, this never moves once, uh, once you drop it there, unless you grab it and move it and you can put it to another, uh, you know, structure or something that you're interested in. So the other thing you can do is, um, is actually make your route out here. So um, we've got routes, so you can go in here and let's say you're leaving out of here and you're gonna come to this area, this area, like you can actually drill down into, whoop, those tiles are coming in still. Um, you can zoom into an area that you're going to be uh, fishing and then hit finish route. And now you've got all the longitude and latitude for each one of those points and the total distance and uh you can save it and uh you can also once you save it you're at, you'll have the ability to export as a gpx file uh for some of your mfds your fish finders and also a, a kml file which uh, goes right into google earth if you just use that um i know tony acevedo uses google earth all the time for his planning so um and then you can clear this and the other thing, I don't, did we get into radar yet? No, not yet. Let's no. cover that for sure. That's yeah. Cool so feature. let me, let me, um, let me take this off. So now uh, we've got some storms down here. So in, in this, uh, on the, on the right side, we've got this button and this will load the most recent radar and it'll start looping through it. And uh, I think I'm still on currents here. Let me uh, change this back to wind. All right. Um, yeah, so here's the, uh, you can see the current radar and what's cool, eventually we're going to add a little ruler button. So it's real quick. You can just click on it and, and see how far out it is. But for the purposes of this demo, I can, I can do this and I say, okay, this looks like this is like 23, 27 miles offshore, which is great. Cause that's something you always want to look at before you head out. Um, even inshore. I mean, you can, you can measure and see how far if something I know on the East coast winds, these storms always blowing in. Oh, so cool. And then you yep. can stop it. You can scrub through it and uh, kind of see where it is at that particular time. So we're actually working um, in the future. I don't think it'll be by release, but there's a future forecast. So it'll go up to the current time and then you can go a little bit in the future and kind of see which way it's headed. So just this right here, you've eliminated three of my apps because I use Wendy, right? And, and we teamed up with Wendy. You'll see the Wendy logo up there. So we're literally getting... This is Wendy. So we have essentially the Wendy app there. And then I have a little weather app. And a lot of times it's it's pretty good, but I got to sit through the ads. Uh, Cause you know, I, I don't pay for the uh, extended version of weather and, uh, and then the radar, right? And we have it all right here. And then sonar, which, you know, cause you know, it's, it's amazing. This is so crazy. And this is just V1. Like this is the very first version, wait till you see version two and then three. And then at some point this will be in uh you know, in the, in the app store for, uh, for all you members, uh, absolutely crazy what this can do. Even right here, it, uh, it's a first beta launch, and which we'll talk about in just a second. Yeah. Uh, let's see, was it South Point? South Point pulled up for, uh, it's near Durham. 
North Carolina. Help if I spell it right. <laughs> Southport. I was saying point. Both in North Carolina. <laughs> yeah, so this is just another area. I mean, same thing. We've got um, got the high res we can load in here. And then I can, there's like some really nice ledges back in here. And then uh, same with sonar. But really just even in the inshore side, all of these inlets and passes, holy smokes. Yeah, I mean, just that, that Jacksonville inlet, I mean, you could literally see a sunken boat that looked like it was really close to the pier or, oh, yeah, or close you could to the jetty. cast to it from the shore. Yeah, and, and that, that's an area where the water's really murky. And, and so so having this, this is basically underwater visibility in, in, in murky water and in deep water, too. This is, this is really, really cool stuff. Yeah, what Three. I really like is like the transparency where you can kind of you can play around with it and get your own customized map, really. Because right now I've got the in, I've got the marine chart, which shows you the depths. I've got the shaded relief and the sonar at the same time. And it really gives you like a really uh, in-depth view. And you can do all the same stuff right on your phone. Right on your phone, exactly. Yep. So I've got those same three things right there on my phone. It looks identical. I got the weather and obviously you can take that off if you need more, more screen, but so cool. And what's really cool is like, especially for pre-planning, you need a little bit more real estate. So you can sit, you know, in your chair on your computer where you've got a big screen, you can plan your route, you can look at the weather. And when you save your route, you can still access it, access it on your phone. You can still export it. So then you can pull it up in your phone and you've got already, you've already got the longitude and latitude, the waypoints, you got everything right there. So it's, as soon as you save it, it's available on any device that you have with your account. I, I'm betting just from how we've been using this, Luke and I went fishing this morning and, uh, and use this is the desktop or even tablet version is going to be more popular for all the pre-trip planning, right? Just, it's just more real estate. It's a little bit easier not being out in the sun and stuff to, to, to find all this stuff. And you can obviously do it anywhere, but I, I'm, my get, my gut is saying that a lot of people are going to use this desktop version and then save it to your point and then have it on their phone when they're out there. Well, I saw a lot of people already, you know, either own tablets or buying tablets just to have in their, their boat or whatever vessel you're in to be able to use this. Um, exactly. And the way we set it up is it's, it's very touch friendly. So you'll notice that all the buttons are nice and round, kind of the same shape as your fingerprint. So you can just tap on it as you're using it. Um, and then back to your point about using desktop. I, I mean, with my fish finder, I'd have to actually go to my boat to plan my routes. I, it was, it was, you know, a lot of, you know, different hoops you had to jump through to go from your computer, your route to, uh, to your mfd so yep yeah we've heard heard that from other people so this will be just another huge advantage and even an advantage over you know a traditional app there's a lot of apps that are good but they're only on the phone like meaning they don't have a version for the desktop uh which you know to me that's just crazy when so much of pre-trip planning goes on you know indoors before you even hit the water and so this is going to just be next level for uh, for that um, so let's talk about that question real quick about, well, first of all, let's talk about when it comes out. That's the question we get all the time. So as I mentioned, there's going to be a couple different versions. The very first beta test version, this will only go to, and the whole thing's only available to our insider members. Uh, but we're going to send it out to every active insider member to ask them if they want to be a beta tester. And that's going to be Wednesday, May 25th. That's tomorrow, right? Assuming you're watching this on, on Tuesday, the, the 24th. So Wednesday, tomorrow by tomorrow evening, let's just say on Wednesday night, you get an email from us that gives you the option to beta test. Obviously, you don't have to, but I think you probably should. And, and we want feedback, right? We know with anything like this, you can't even comprehend how much data we're having to pay for and how much data is having to be pulled in. I mean, like the weather and the radar, that stuff's updating every, what, 15 minutes or stuff. I mean, it's mm -hmm. coming in all the time. And so there's going to be some bugs, right? There's going to be someone who's got some crazy old iPhone 7 who might see something slightly different. So we want to hear from you and get all the little things worked out. Nick, what are the steps? Just so everyone 
can anticipate what's going to happen. They get an email, they got a, what sign a waiver that, uh, yeah. So the way it's going to work is you'll get, you'll get notified. Uh, you'll get an email, you have to log into your account and right, uh, in the middle of your account, right on the homepage, we're going to have a big button that says smart fishing spots. And you're going to click on that. Once you, once you click on that, it's going to load up and it's going to ask you if you're on your phone, it's going to ask you if you want to save it as an app on your phone. So you'll see that prompt. It's also going to ask you if you want to have location services uh, where you can record your track, uh, you can enable that as well. And, and, and real then, quick, you should do that. Um, yeah. Even if you don't want to record tracks, because I did not the first time and I was like, oh man, because every time you pull it up, you want to, you want the weather pull, pulling up from wherever the heck you are, right? You want to see the tides and exactly where you are every single time. So I would definitely recommend doing it. Exactly. It's just like your, you know, your, your, your fish finder, your MFD on your boat, it knows where you are. It follows you that way. It can track your tides. It can, you know, it can, it can find you on the, on the chart plot or you actually use it to, you know, find out where you are. So, um, so yeah, so once you go through that, uh, there's, there's a small, uh, legal acceptance thing, uh, terms and conditions, that sort of thing, click on that. And then I'm actually going to have a, uh, a short video tutorial, that I highly recommend that you just watch. It's going to be very short. It's probably going to be, I don't know, a couple of hours. No, it's going to be like maybe two, three minutes. And I'm just going to do high level. Like this is where you find tides. This is how you make a route. This is how you get to the high definition layer. Um, this is how you search. This is how you zoom. So all the basic stuff just to get you going. But I highly recommend you just spend a few minutes to go through it. We should make it mandatory. That's a good idea. I might do that. We'll see how it goes. Well, yep. well, we try to make it as intuitive as possible, but you know, sometimes um, there might be something that you're not quite clear with. So we'll uh, we'll have the video there. Yep. And so you're, and when he said logged in, he's talking about your insider, you know, your membership, like the community, and you'll be able to do this on your laptop, tablet, and your phone. You get all three of them. And uh, we want feedback. So this is, you know, first round will be kind of a, a beta test, if you will just getting feedback from you. And as Nick said, it will save it uh, on your phone, just like a normal app. I have it right there on, hopefully you guys can see it. It's the second one from the bottom. That is my Smart Fishing Spots app. And the app is called Smart Fishing Spots. So that'll be kind of, we'll just call it version one, right? Is this this beta test. Once we have all the feedback, then we're going to start releasing version two. And, and I, I will just tease you with this it will actually start predicting. We're already gonna have the predictive analysis on the best time of day. Uh, I guess we didn't really show that on the, on the tide chart, Nick, uh, but it's gonna show the, the actual best time of day and obviously the best tide and all that. But then we're gonna start having it predict best fishing spots based on all this data that we're, uh, that we're pulling in. It, it will be absolutely next level. And then really the third phase after that is going to be taking this app, this progressive app that's web-based into the normal, you know, app, what is it called? Uh, a, what am a, I native, sure? a native app. Native app. So you will actually at that point go get the app from the app store. And here's some big reasons that we're doing it. One, it is so much easier to do updates and to be really, really nimble and to make really quick fixes when you're outside of that native app. You've probably seen it before. I know my wife is horrible about it, but uh, she'll have an issue with an app she's like yeah it's just not working i was like well have you updated and she's like what does that mean i'm like you've never updated your apps and like she hadn't updated anything in like two years and a lot of people are like that they just don't think about they need to go to the app store and do updates and so even if you have the biggest company in the world with developers like facebook if you don't update the app you never see the new stuff whereas this every time Nick makes an update, you're automatically getting it. So no having to go to an app store and update because we're going to be making updates every 30 minutes as we get feedback from you guys. It would be a complete nightmare to try to even uh, manage that. So once we have all this stuff worked out and it's in our eyes as perfect as perfect can be, then we're going to take it you know, to the app store. And of course, if you're an insider member, you'll get your same username and password and you'll have free access. So this will be free to Insider members. Just one more thing we're doing to earn your business and to make sure you're around for many, many years to come. Uh, this was a massive, massive investment of, of both money and, uh, and time and will continue to be. I mean, just getting an app these days is, you know, 100, 100K. Uh, and, and, and that's after we've already developed all this, uh, this hard stuff. Uh, but even with the app, right, Nick, they'll still be able to use the desktop version. So we will still have 
you know, both versions for you. Cause we know that's super important. And I think that's a, that's a place that a lot of the apps have kind of missed the boat, if you will, is only having it available on a phone. The same reason that you said it's frustrating to only be able to start ch charting your plots and stuff on your, uh, on your unit that's in your boat. I mean, it's like, all right, that's, it kind of defeats a purpose sometimes. So that's kind of the timeline. Who knows how long it'll be before that app is actually in the app store, but for now you don't need it. I mean, that we've been playing around with this internally for quite some time. I have it on my phone. Like I said, we've been doing it for our own, own trips on our own phone and our desktop, and it's been working phenomenal. Yeah, even even on the phone, it you know it's not a true native app as Nick said, but it feels like it. There's really no difference. Yep. You just have to get the icon on your screen, and then basically whenever I need it, even when I'm out in the boat, I just tap on it. It opens it up. There, it's ready to rock. I can one tap away to see the tides, one tap away to see the radar. Um, and if uh, you know if I'm gonna I'm gonna start going after grouper here once the season opens and uh, in near shore reefs, right? I can I can get on that high resolution bottom contour map and i can actually see the sunken boats or the rock piles and uh, and fish them so i can get out there and i can see myself on the screen and then as i'm getting closer or further away from the target it is really really cool definitely definitely is next level uh, for anybody who's fishing deeper water uh, with that that uh that underwater view there oh yeah yeah i i already know that we're uh acquiring quite a few new members who are more the offshore near shore and even some up up north you know we've always had members up north but really texas to virginia is is the core i mean that's probably 80 percent of, of our thirty thousand plus members and now i mean there's a you know a lot of members up there in, in new jersey and in uh, new york and they're out there offshore you know off off the beaches you know doing their fluke fishing and striper fishing and uh man, there's some really really cool stuff up there so yes it 100 does work uh, up there works in california too um but really that whole east coast and obviously into the gulf uh, through, all throughout texas is uh is where the real money is with all this stuff but it'll be something we'll continue to develop and if we keep hearing from people in california or people in the great lakes or wherever that really want more of this uh it's something we can definitely develop it just it like anything it takes time and we want to make sure we do it right. Uh, but I know you're going to be blown away with this. You know, just uh, if you're once again hearing this uh, shortly after the podcast went live, it'll be in the next 24 hours. Be looking for an email from us. And uh, it'll be probably something with Smart Fishing Spots beta test. And uh, once again, the name is Smart Fishing Spots. This will, another question we get, this will, yes, supersede the Smart Fishing Tides because it'll have that in there. As Nick kind of teased earlier, when you pull the tide stations, we're going to have all that and you can dive deep into that, if you will, and see the tides out for 14 days, see the uh, strike score. And um, let's see where, so where's the strike score? They click the bottom. Yep. Yeah. So we're actually going to be, maybe by the time this goes live, we're going to incorporate the, I don't know if the strike score will be there, but the feeding, the hourly feeding levels will be there. Cool. So as you scroll through the weather, you'll see the same thing. So uh, let's see. So right now so this take them to another yeah so now this is uh can you still see my page dude at nine tomorrow yep. so yeah i know look at that that's uh, indian something. rocks um yeah so you'll see the strike score calendar and then the uh hourly feeding projection so all that's going to be moved over as well to smart fishing spots since we have much better radar and satellite yep. and stuff now yep. so that smart fishing tides will essentially go away because we have all the data plus 10,000 times more over in here. Uh, so pumped for you guys to see this and so pumped to get some, uh, some feedback. This is just going to help us save a ton of time, be smarter anglers, which is the, the goal. And, uh, and to give you guys everything you need. Uh, I, I just, I heard it so many times from friends. I set up myself. I was like, man, I would give anything just to have one app that does everything I need. <laughs> And now this is all I'm using. I, I haven't opened up my weather, my normal weather app, my normal radar app, my windy. I have all here. I mean, it's, it's everything's here. My tides. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. Look how much data is just right here. We've got radar, marine chart, the 3D, the tides, and the weather forecast all in one view. So much power in these fingertips. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Hi, guys. Hopefully this is helpful. And once again, insider members only, if you're not a member, this is the time to do it. I've said it once I've said again, we are going to be raising the prices. All this stuff costs a ton of money. 
and and it just solidifies this membership. We have some people who save it in their first month just on the tackle savings alone. Uh, we have people that say, "Man, like you just just going through a couple of courses or just watching Luke Smart Fishing Game Plan every single Friday has paid for it alone." It's like having a full time guide in your back pocket, and this just takes it to a whole nother level. Because if you were going to try to get all of this data or even just all these apps to do all this individually. I mean, it would be, I don't know, many, many hundreds of dollars. I know just, well, the 3D part would, I mean, be thousands of dollars uh, just by itself because we know how much that costs. So definitely get in while you can before we raise the prices. We will definitely be raising them. But the good news is once you get in, you are locked in for life. It's the way that we wish companies treated us. I wish Amazon had locked me in for life in my prime back in the day. They keep raising prices on everyone. We're not going to do that. We, we are going to raise prices but only for new people going forward. So anyone who gets in, I want to reiterate, if you get in now and it's $97 for the year, you're locked into that for life, even if it were, were $250 uh, down the road per, per year. So just a way of, of, once again, treating you like we wish companies treated us and thanking you for your loyalty and, uh, and, 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 and really just all this feedback too. Um, that, that's, that's how this came about, which is so exciting just from hearing from members saying, yeah, if you guys could do this, this would be really cool. And so keep giving us feedback. Um, Nick, what is the best way to give us feedback once they get in? Uh, let's just say tomorrow, or the next day. Uh, what's the best way where it's all going to make sure we get it. It's going to get captured. Um, that's a good question. Um, I might actually set up a private or a, a separate email for that. Cause I don't want to flood fish at Saul strong cause no. they already have enough customer service stuff. So, um, yeah, I'm going to set up, uh, it'll be, it'll be on the homepage of the insider. So once you're there and then also on smart fishing spots, there'll be a little question mark icon, uh, for help that'll allow you to rewatch the video if you need to. And then there'll be a little area that you can submit your feedback. Um, yeah, that'll be the easiest. Cool. To be Nick, determined. This is really awesome, man. Thank you. We're, uh, we're all, all pumped about this. All right, guys, yes, if sir. you have any questions, let us know and uh, be looking for an email from us. If you're an insider member, if you're not, sign up right now while you can to be a beta tester. Otherwise, you're going to have to wait. So that's at saltstrong.com. Saltstrong.com. You'll be able to get unlimited access to all this stuff right at your fingertips. Peace. Thanks, guys. Yeah. We out. See ya.